Well, Brittany, first, the man who was shot and killed by police has been identified as 69-year-old Lawrence Dixon. Now, we're told that he lived in an apartment on the second floor of this office building across the street from us, and he died right outside of it. A police call for a suicidal man. Witnesses say officers arrived to find the man armed with a handgun. Then they heard a gunshot. Shortly after that, they saw officers performing CPR on the man on the sidewalk. Haley Paul's girlfriend heard the gunfire from inside Paul's apartment. So I went out my back door and it was right there. There were four officers with shields kind of in a triangle and they walked over and kicked a gun, a handgun away from him and then turned him over. Oregon State Police are in charge of figuring out what happened. Their preliminary investigation indicates that at least one round was fired by McMinnville officers, striking the man, now identified as 69-year-old Lawrence Dixon. Paul recognized Dixon as someone who recently moved into an apartment on the second floor of this building. And so this is a man that you had some exchanges with? Yeah, a couple of times. I've run into him while I was walking my dog, and him and my dog would have a, you know, a little scuff, but... He was never like crazy or not lucid. Like he was, he was a nice guy. OSP says when McMinnville officers arrived, Dixon came out of the building and confronted them before at least one shot was fired. Haley Paul was sad to see it. I ran back inside and I was crying and I told my dad who was there, I was like, I think I just saw someone die. And that that's, it wasn't, mm. Because, you know, whenever they're sitting there and they're trying to do compressions, it's, it's not gonna, it's not good, so. And any life being lost and seeing that is not, it wasn't fun. Now, two McMinnville officers are on administrative leave, normal protocol there, and a multi-agency investigation is ongoing. Ashley?